Hey folks, today I'm going to show you something called a Recordio disc. Um, from what I've read on the internet, Recordio discs were something that were manufactured by the Wilcox Gay Company starting in 1939. And what they were um, basically is uh, discs that were used on a home recording system. So um, just like we had tapes when we were younger and we could record on and now we use CDs, Back then, the only way they were able to record on things was to use these recordio discs, supposedly, until magnetic tape was introduced. So anyway, um, this particular disc I found <clears throat> um, in uh, the sleeve of another record that I bought at a yard sale, and it appears to have a valedictorian speech on it uh, sometime, I think, in the 50s uh, from an Alberta high school. Um, I have contacted the history, the history board for Alberta uh, to let them know that it exists, but I never got a response from anyone. But uh, I'm going to play it here for you now, so you can at least kind of hear what the audio quality is like and see what these things were, were capable of doing. Playing it on a Califone 1420K record player. The disc itself was recorded at 78 RPM. So I'm just going to start it up here and let you have a listen to this speech. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow graduates, guests. Those of us who graduate this year from our high school must do so with mixed feelings. We find ourselves both at an ending and at a beginning. The years of study and of changes in our mental and physical stature have reached a culmination in these graduation exercises tonight. But I think that if we have learned anything of importance in these 12 years, it is this that we are at the real beginning of education rather than the conclusion. Our schooling thus far has been superficial unless it has left us with this knowledge that we will be, in a sense, in school all our lives and that our education doesn't end with these exercises tonight. We can't fold our hands and say we've nothing left to learn. In school, we've had the foundations of this lifelong education well and firmly laid now it is up to us to continue to build upon that foundation. Some of us will be going on to higher academic fields. Others will be finished with formal schooling, but we will still be learning, whether it be in some institution specifically dedicated to instruction or in the broader, all-enveloping school of life. Wherever we may be, let us strive to remember the lessons that these 12 years have taught us. I don't mean facts. For many of these will be forgotten. Rather, let us remember the broader lesson of clear thinking and the principle of making time count towards some good purpose. Also, the ability we have had instilled in us to work together happily and profitably for our own and others' good. So that was side one or part one, not a very long record. Um, seems like you can only record a few minutes at a time, at least on this side. So I'm just flipping over to side two now to let you listen to the rest of this speech. We all realize the important and vital task that lies before us, that of choosing our place in life. In doing this, we should not only think of the material returns that we will receive, important as these may be, but also of the service we can give to our fellow man and to our country. If we work only for money, we will feel frustrated and cheated if wealth does not come to us. But to know that we have given our best in whatever vocation we have chosen and the best service possible to our country and our God will be life's richest reward. This year, as we Albertans are celebrating the 50th anniversary of our province, we are looking forward to even greater things in the future. So may we, who are starting on the bottom rung of the ladder of life, climb to even greater heights of success and accomplishment than even we had dreamed. I would like to say in closing that as we stand at the threshold of all our life's dreams and aspirations, that we may choose wisely in our work, whether it be a high government position or that of a common laborer, and to keep ever before us these great principles of life which have been instilled in us, both at home and at school, lest we become careless and lose sight of our coveted goal. I 
And so there you have it. That was a valedictorian speech on a recordio disc. <laughs>